Welcome back friends. Today we are going to solve a famous strings interview problem called as twin strings problem. Uh, so if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel now. Uh, on my channel you will get lot of lead code problem solutions in Java as well as uh, interview material for Java J2E preparation uh, where you will get frequently asked questions and how to answer those questions in telephonic as well as personal rounds. So please subscribe to the channel. So let's look at the problem statement here. So given an array of lowercase strings, the task is to find number of strings that are distinct. Uh, two strings are distinct. If on applying the following operation on one string, the second string cannot be formed. Uh, a character on odd index can be swapped with another character at odd index only and character at even index can be swapped with another character at even index only. So they have given us two examples of what can be twin strings and what cannot be uh, twin strings, right? So for example, let's look at this first example. So as you can see, uh, in the like this uh, first character A is at a character uh, index 0, right? So we can swap this, uh, this is even index, so we can swap with another even index character. C is also even index because it is a index 2, right? So we can take C at the A position and A we can move at the C position. So as you can see, so C we have moved at the A position and A we have moved here at the C position, right? Because we can, we are allowed to swap even characters as well as odd characters. So now we have swap, swapped even index characters A and C and we have found this string, right? By swapping C and A. So we can get C, B, A, D string by swapping even index characters C and A basically, right? So we have to say that those are twin strings. So we have to just return uh, true for those strings, right? Because we can swap and found uh, by swapping this string, we can f uh, form this string. So we uh, those are twin strings. But in this other case, as you can see, um, uh, like uh, we there is no way we can swap characters and form this other string, right? Because let's say b if b is at the uh, odd position here, here this is one index, and here b is at the even position, right? B is here zero index. So there is no way we can form the second string right from the first string. So which means that we have to uh, return false for those are not two uh, twin strings basically. So that is the problem statement. So um, uh, this, uh, this question is asked in uh, some you know like initial screening as well as uh, whiteboarding sessions. So you know uh, please make sure you understand the twin strings question. So two strings are like are given and we have to uh, return true if we can form the second string by doing this kind of uh, swapping basically right by only odd characters with other odd characters we can do or even characters with other even characters we can do right. So um, what like how we can solve this problem so as you might have noticed here you know uh, the rule that they have given us for swapping so what we can do is uh, for the first string we can uh, form a map right of character comma integer so what that map will do is it will get the position for the each character in the first string for example a a will be zero position right in the map b will be first one position c will be second position and d will be third position right from a b c d string we have created this map and uh, what we will do is for the C we will uh, uh, like iterate this character by character the second string and we will uh, check you know if the index of each of these characters is like if C index is uh, uh, even here then it should be even in the map basically right. So for example C index is 0 here we will check the map index so C map index is also even here also even so that is good then we will check B map index is odd and uh, this one map index is also odd and here the B index is also odd in this second string right. So similarly we check for each character here again A the index is 2 here and A index is 0 so both A indexes are even indexes. So as long as both are even and both are odd we will keep checking 
until the end of the string now here d is e, uh, odd index because it is 0 1 2 3 right and here also as you can see it is odd index so if so basically the condition we are checking is both should be even or both should be odd right if that is the case that is satisfied throughout the uh, string until the end then it means that those are twin strings right and why that logic will work because we can uh, because the condition says that we can uh, replace even character with other even character right so which means that this character which is even here should be even in the other string as well right then only you can swap basically and form this string so that's why the logic will work so let's just look at the implementation quickly so we have just created a map of character comma integer here and we are iterating through the first string and we are just putting the character and its position in the map and then we are iterating through the second string here and we are checking the index of the in the map right for that character so if this i which is the index of that character in second string and the index one we will check here so both we will check both should be even or both should be odd right then we are good so if anything is not right uh, like uh, anything is not uh, uh, matching for example here i mod 2 is uh, even and index mod 2 it's not even right that is means we, we we cannot then form that string right or if i mod 2 is not 0 means it is odd basically and uh, index 1 mod 2 is 0 means index 1 is even basically right one is odd one is even so in that case we will just simply return false you cannot uh, form that string by any uh, by applying these two rules right by uh, moving like any odd character with other odd position and even position with other even position so that is what we will check throughout and if we come here then which means that we can actually uh, have all the characters uh, matching right so even character in the first string is even character in the second string and odd character in first string is odd character in second string uh, so for every character then we will just simply return true so that is what the idea is for implementing the twin strings problem so let's take uh, these two strings that are given to us so as they have given us that th these two strings uh, and we have seen those are uh, uh, you know it should give us a true here as the result so let's just quickly run this and make sure it's giving correct result so true we are getting and now what we will do is we will take another example which is uh, you know this is not a twin strings so we will make sure that this should give us false now uh, because why why it's not twin because see here the b is at odd position this is index 1 and here it is index 0 so there is no way we can form this second string from first string right so we will just uh, run this quickly so as you can see we are getting false now because it is not a twin string so um, this is the way you can solve the twin strings problem you you have to just like uh, and the time complexity for this is we are iterating through each character of first string and uh, mostly like uh, like maximum we are iterating all the characters of second string right so if it is a, a m characters in first and n character in second uh, mostly those are uh, you know same characters right so you can just say it is like a m into n is the time complexity uh, for this solution and we have just used a map for storing characters and its positions so that is the extra storage space and we are just going to add the character there right so you can say storage space is order of n right that is the extra storage space otherwise we did not use anything so you can just say that time complexity for this solution is order of n right where n is character in s1 and s2 and space complexity for this solution is also order of n because we are putting into the map all the characters which are in characters here right so um, that is how you can solve the twin strings problem um, 
if you haven't already checked my playlist for lead code solutions please uh, check it out you know it has over uh, uh, 70 problems solved and explained with examples as well as my java interview playlist is there as well as uh, uh, some other playlist i created uh, uh, to explain concepts like bfs dfs dynamic programming as well as uh, java data structures like linked list arrays so check it out you know it has a lot of examples that will help you in your java interview preparation and uh, please subscribe to the channel uh, because subscription will you know it uh, it can go and reach to more people like you and other peoples will also get benefited uh, so please subscribe to the channel thanks for watching this video